Teddy, Teddy, talk to me. You can't miss the prefix meeting and then just say you have detention as a reason. There's not much to say, okay? The, well, how about why? <sighs> I punched a guy in the face, broke his nose. Edward! Hi, Weasley and Lupin. Not now, Calvin. Score. And care to explain why you punched somebody in the face? I overheard some assholes in six year talking about the wearable support services that Kingsley opened. How they wouldn't want their money going into helping beasts. And I know they knew I could hear them because one of them was looking straight at me as, as, as he was. As he started talking about how the anti wearables legislation had been a step in the right direction. How he couldn't believe one had actually worked here at Hogwarts. I know for a fact that my dad was the best defense against dark art teacher the whole world's ever seen. So you punched him in the face? Not right away. I did try to argue. But he just kept vomiting up such hateful things that I lost it. We had gotten quite the audience by then and Professor Sprout turned up just as the coward fled the scene. Suddenly, straight from Cardinals. You were sent to the headmistress? Yeah, Sparkle was extra serious considering I'm a headboy now. And I, I tried to explain to McGonagall that she just gave me a speech on how, on how my dad would never have punched another student in the face. Mm -hmm. And I told her, well, no, that's because my dad had two friends always so stood up and punched for him. <laughs> what did you say about that? Not much, actually. She just gave me attention. Why couldn't you have hexed him like a normal person? Well, the only hex I could think of was the hex that George taught me last Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that seemed a little over the top, you know, for that asshole. So, you punched him in the face. <clears throat> you weren't there, okay? I'm so sick of all the stigma and discrimination. People keep saying it's so good now that Voldemort is finally gone for good, but it's not enough. We had issues before him and I'm so sick of it. No, Teddy. It's okay. No, it's not! My dad suffered his whole life because of stupid people like that. And, and you! What? Your dad! I mean, your dad is also affected by it. Bill! Your dad is super cool and people say the shittiest things about Bill just because of some stupid scars. My dad gets both sides, actually. There are those who see his scars and just... assumes. Even though he tells them that he won't turn. And then there are those who treat him like he's escaped some horrible fate. Like, worse than death. I mean, of course dad's grateful that he was lucky enough to not be infected with lycanthropy, but... He's always been very vocal that it's because of, like, practical and economical reasons. And also because of attitudes like that. <laughs> and my mom's always ready to step in and let people know that it would not have, not have changed a thing between them. So what do you do when people say things like that? Well, I don't punch them in the face. <sighs> Even though it's tempting. I try to argue, discuss, and maybe educate if I can. Yeah, but if, if they won't listen, if it doesn't work, then I leave. You can't win every battle in a war, especially not if you're alone. You know what helps? Talking. I have a girl my year, whose cousin was scratched during the Battle of Hogwarts. And talking to her has really helped me put my feelings into words, instead of punches. So, I think of her when I get mad. Yeah, but I was thinking of... I know, I know you were thinking of your dad, and my dad, and me, and Dominique, and Louis, and Tonks, and Harry, and everybody else affected by these stupid ideas about werewolves. But you need to let us support you instead. I didn't know there were more people who had close ones that are affected. There's probably a lot more than we think. And I'm sure... So many people will want to support the wearable support system once they get a job. 
<laughs> Maybe you can recruit them to your assistance group. Maybe I will. 